What's up guys and welcome on back. King Reactors here and like I say every time this is not a reacting video. Um, I basically just want to sit here and give my little point on what I think about Barry Seasons 4 suit. What I think about um, what I think they should. I think what I don't have a problem with his suits from the show and the comics. Um, so let's just start right on in with the uh, Season 4 suit. I'm talking about the stuff as, if, as this video goes along. His season 4 suit was basically amazing and I liked it. Though some people find it to be a little too baggy, I didn't notice that as watching seasons 4. I basically looked past his baggy on his suit and we was looking at the action in his suit completely looking awesome. Right? We seen the suit in seasons 3 episode 19 and basically everybody knew that that was going to be his new suit for seasons 4. Right? But I didn't. I just thought it was like a one, a little a one thing suit. Like I just thought he showed it for the future flash to show that basically Barry Allen suit was to be different in the future than what it was in the past right or at least the present but no they brought that suit back completely for seasons four and i was like oh well new suit here we come and basically i don't really have a problem with barry suits in the show nor the comics and some people they would be like, oh, Barry should get the flash ring. He should get Gideon. He should get the time bolt. He should get the golden boots, right? He should get the golden earpieces. He should get the white emblem, blah, 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 blah. He should get the brighter red. Basically, people be hating on Barry's suit. But to be for real with me, I don't really care what this dude gets for his suit. Like, at all. I don't care if he gets the golden boots. I don't care if he gets the, ear the golden earpieces. I don't care what he gets on his suit. Basically, all I want to see Barry get is the time vault, the flash ring, and Gideon. Those are like the only three things I want. I want to see him get. Okay, those are the only three. His suit can be the burgundy red like it was in the three past seasons. I wouldn't care because really, it's just a suit. They can always modify his suit to look completely different as the season go along. Like in seasons three, right? No, no. Season in seasons one, they could have made Barry's suit completely look completely different. He could have been got his white emblem when they seen the time vault like he could have been got his white emblem but no they didn't do it because they wanted to stick with one suit per season i mean yeah they use seasons two suit for seasons three but in their defense they didn't have any more ideas for the for the suit going into seasons three so really for their defense i give them a little side on that one but like I said, I really just want to see Barry get the flash ring, Gideon, and the time bolt. Which he will never get. And I'm going to tell you guys this why. I'm going to tell you why, too. You ready? You want to know why? Because he didn't create them. Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm going to tell you why, too. Okay? I'm going to tell you why. Just give me a little minute. Okay, a minute passed. Okay? The reason why Barry will not get the time bolt, Gideon, nor the flash ring ever as the season as the show concludes goes on is because he didn't create them and if you don't know what i mean remember in season one episode 23 when they say the original timeline was 2020 or the original timeline was affected when barry and thon time traveled from the future and they, and basically barry's mom was killed yeah i don't think i ever said this but barry's mom was originally not supposed to die actually his mom was originally supposed to live. I'm stuffing my feet to let you guys know that. But his mom was originally supposed to live in the timeline. Barry was supposed to have his mom and his dad throughout all of his years of life. When he graduated college, he was supposed to have his parents there. His, he was supposed to have his parents in every day of his life. Then by 2020, the original Harrison Wells, who basically died, when, who we see died when we found out about Thawne traveling back to our timeline, right? Well basically the, that original wells was supposed to get the particle accelerator and he was supposed to get barry his powers by accident but for those who read the comic book barry didn't get his powers by accident he got his powers from his future self if you don't know uh in this pre-crisis uh in this crisis on infinite earth comic barry runs around this anti um cannon right he runs around and runs around it and he's getting close to death and so he basically vanishes and his suit just was left his suit and his flash ring, right? So basically, it's revealed later on in the comic books later that he's in the Speed Force and he ends up running right back in time and becoming the lightning bolt that basically gave him his powers. That's all I'm going to say. If you want to see it, just go read the comic. But, um, yeah. So, really, basically, Barry was supposed to get his powers in 2020 and the original Wells was supposed to be crippled and in a wheelchair. That's where, basically, Thawne 
got the idea for the wheelchair for the particle accelerator basically everything you see happen in seasons one Harrison Wells get the idea from the original timeline because he's from the original timeline but because he altered it by killing Barry's mom a little too early right or killing her period it messed with the timeline in the year 2020 was not the original timeline anymore 2014 is the timeline that Barry gets his powers now so basically Barry won't ever create Gideon he won't ever create the time vault and he will not ever get the flash ring because the original timeline of him getting those three things is not happening anymore guys I'm sorry to tell you this but now if he ever if we ever see him use the time vault or Gideon or the flash ring at all he's basically just gonna get the idea from Harrison Wells or Thawne in this case because Thawne is who he's seen with this stuff basically Barry didn't come up with it by himself now if he was going the narrow straight path of the original timeline then we could possibly see Barry do get all this stuff right Caitlyn and Cisco wasn't in the original timeline either. They were actually basically villains in the original timeline. Cisco was still vibe by this point, and Caitlyn was Killer Frost. Like she wasn't good. She was bad. But that's why Harrison Wells cre that's why he got them in the year of 2014 for the public accelerator. That's why he got them so that they could be affected, or at least so that they could basically be be important. If you don't know in the comics, Cisco is actually more powerful than Barry. He can actually cut Barry's connection to the Speed Force off, and he can basically stop Barry in his tracks. Remember when we seen Gideon do that to uh, Wally West in Seasons 3? Yeah, basically this is going to do the exact same thing, but more powerful. More powerful, I'm telling you this. So basically, Speedsters, Speedsters should be afraid of, of, vibe, of Vibe and Gypsy, basically. I'll be afraid of them, because they are powerful. But, um... But about his suit, I really do, like I said, I really don't care what Barry does. I don't care what they do with Barry's suit. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, so if anything, that's all I want to talk about for the day. Um, and his suit, basically for season 5. Um, um, so basically, when we seen his season 1 suit with the 2014 uh, edition emblem, right? Um, when we seen that, basically people were saying, Oh, Barry, that won't be the suit in the flash ring. Uh, I kind of think it will be because I kind of think that Barry in the future like Oliver and like Batman if you don't know because Batman and Oliver hang their suits up like in like in cases Batman hang in the Batcave he has all of his suits hung up he has his rock he has the Robin suits for uh, whoever he picks his Robin and he has his old Batman suits like his blue cape Batman suit um his black cape Batman suit or his Dark Knight Rises Batman suit. You can see these suits too in Arkham Knight. Uh, um, in Arkham Knight's character uh, character skins. You can see that in that. And yeah, so I kind of think Barry in the future just placed all of his old suits in the flash ring. Like he has like three flash rings, right? And those three uh, has the 2014 suit with the red emblem. The 20, uh, the 20, 2015 is when season two came out. I think I think it came out in 2015 I don't I don't know I might be wrong but no 2016 with the 2017 edition emblem I I think I don't know guys okay I don't know how that timeline works see the I get confused but he has his seasons two seasons two seasons three suit in the second flash ring and he has his seasons four suit in a new flash ring and I kind of think that basically the suit that we might get for this like a season's four suit, I think I said this already in the beginning of the video, I don't know. But his season's four suit was more closer to the comic book accurate suit. Out of all of his suits that he got, it was more brighter red. It had more gold on it. And it was basically more beautiful. But it was a little baggy though. It was, it was baggy, that was the only problem I had. But his golden boots, I don't really care if he gets them or not. I really just want to talk about this. So I um, hope you guys like and please uh, subscribe and hit the bell for notification. I'll speak to you guys next time. King Ractor is out. Peace. Well,